Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you a fish curry. And the fish I'm going to use is the wild Alaskan halibut. I'm going to make fish in onion curry. And it's going to be delicious, mouth watering and very easy to make. I'm going to use three onions and which is red color. You can use any color but I would prefer red color. I'm going to use a fresh ginger and I would say two teaspoon or to taste. It's a frozen. These are individually wrapped. There are five pieces. Four. If you have enough time on hand, you can take these out and put it on the countertop for a couple hours. If you don't, then get a bowl or use a strainer. I'm going to place these. I'm going to soak in cold water. I'm going to change the water a couple times, so within 5 minutes there will be no more ice. I'm going to let them sit here. All the 3 onions I cut into small pieces, put it into food process along with the ginger and I make a nice smooth paste. And this is going to be our nice curry. I'm going to use a rice vinegar, 1 teaspoon. All the spices will be 1 teaspoon each, black pepper, salt to taste, cumin seed, grinder powder, cumin powder and garam masala. Olive oil, one third cup. These are optional ingredients. If you don't want to use garlic powder, don't use it. And red chili powder. And I'm going to use one teaspoon of each. Kasuri methi, one teaspoon. And let's start the cup. I'm going to start the gas. I'll bring olive oil. As the oil is going to start to heat up, I'll bring the cumin seed. And then I'll bring the onion. We are going to cook our onion until they turn transparent and only thing now we are going to add that would be the salt. And we are going to cook on high gas for 3 to 4 minutes. All the fish pieces looking good. No more ice. Nice size of pieces. While I'm talking, cutting the fish, I'm going to make sure that my tadka is doing well. And we're going to cook it on a high gas. So we're going to cut our pieces about this size. Four cuts straight and one cut right in the middle. So like one inch. And I'm going to finish up all of these pieces. And I'm going to make sure that my turka is not burned. Cooking our onion for 5 minutes. The water has been dried up. As you can see, and I will bring all the spices. Grinder powder, cumin powder, black pepper, garlic powder, red chili powder, garam masala. And we're going to give a good mix. Our onions are fully cooked and it took us around 6 minutes. I'll bring 2 cup of water and this one will be to your taste if you need uh, thick gravy 
then use less water. If you need more water, you can adjust according to your taste. As you can see, this one is uh, really nice and we're going to cook it for two minutes. I'll bring the fish. Now we need to mix it well. So this is looking perfectly fine. I'm going to bring one teaspoon of rice vinegar. Mix it. And now I'm going to bring my gas to medium. My gas has a number 10, so I'm bringing it on number five. Covered with the lid and we're going to cook it for 10 minutes. Cooking our fish exactly 10 minutes on medium heat. This is strictly optional. It's a tomato ketchup. I'll add one tablespoon. Sriracha hot chili sauce. If you don't like hot food, then please don't use it. This is strictly optional. I'm going to use one teaspoon. This is a kasuri methi, fenugreek leaves. I'm going to put it on my hand and I'm going to make sure that I rub it nicely and sprinkle all over. Now we're going to give it a good stir. After adding all these ingredients, I'm going to put the cover on again and cook it for three minutes. Another three minutes to turn off the gas and I'll open it. Give it a mix. Mix it. A big serving bowl, so I'm going to dish off. Wild Alaskan halibut fish curry is ready. I'm going to share with you. This will be the main dish for tonight. So we're going to garnish with a small amount of ginger. Wild Alaskan halibut fish curry is all ready and it's very tasty and very delicious. Please try it and you're going to like it. You always can serve with the roti, chapati, fulka, naan, bread. Best of all, it's very suitable with the rice flour. I'm going to see you soon with the new recipe. Best of all, easy steps cooking. Thank you, bye-bye.